Good morning. Okay, it is 9 a.m. I'm Paula Green. You have joined in to Kripalu Yoga. I'm so glad that you are here. Yay! All right, I'm excited. Um, let's get over the, the preliminaries here. This is a virtual class, and by participating in this video, you are understanding I cannot adjust you or correct your position. So listen to your body and be safe. So, um, you may need some props for this um, block, Kleenex, block, uh, Kleenex box or books. Um, strap uh, is always great. Um, don't need a professional one. I love a good bathrobe strap. Um, yeah, let's actually begin on our back this morning. And start in constructive rest position. And the, way, the reason we do this is because we want to really relax the low back. So we will keep the knees bent, let them fold in towards each other, and then let the feet open up so they are about mat width distance apart. We'll lift up the tushy here, scoop the tailbone under, and then stretch the spine long as we come down onto the floor. As you come on down, tuck your chin so you're not resting here with the chin lifting up. Think of going long in the back body. Let the shoulders relax outward, and then flip the palms of the hands open. Close your eyes, soften the bones in the body, and begin to slowly breathe in and out. And I want you to count 10 deep breaths. As you breathe, breathe into the belly and the ribs and the chest so that they expand. Breathe out so that the chest, the ribs, the belly contract and the back roots deeper into the mat. Shoulders stay wide, maybe even relax a little more. We allow the bones to get heavy. Let the jaw relax. the forehead, relax around the eyes, We're probably somewhere around our fifth to seventh breath, see where else you can let go. Now take your time. If you're a really slow breather, maybe you're still on the third breath, who knows? But when you've completed this, keep your eyes closed or just have a hazy open focus. Keep your feet mat width distance apart. Allow the knees to separate. Allow the arms to stretch out to a low case T and then slowly let the knees lower to the right as you breathe in. Breathe out, use that contraction of the belly to root the back down and allow the knees to come up. The feet stay on the floor. Breathe in, let the knees drop over, slow, steady to the left side. Breathe out, come back to center. Now turn your head to the left as your knees turn to the right. You can even lift your head up and place it gently down. Exhale, come back to center. To the right, you turn your head. Left, you drop your knees. On the exhale, you center. Do this one more time to each side. Feel that stretch through the spine, all 
the way up to the crown of the head. Now once you've completed, left knee or the knees drop to the left, then we bring them up to center. And we begin to circle them away from each other and then back around again. I call this like tracing out Mickey Mouse ears. You can let your feet and your ankles roll and move. We'll reverse direction. It's beautiful outside. I almost took us outside today and I'm very glad I didn't because I noticed behind me they're working on some machines and being a little loud in the backyard. So that would have been a little crazy, but the birds are chirping. Let's bring our feet down. And as we breathe in, draw the arms overhead, a nice long stretch. And then as you breathe out, scoop the tailbone under, keep the chin tucked and draw the hips up. As you breathe in, try to stretch the spine long. So you're rounding and rolling down to the floor, stretching the arms overhead. Exhale, scoop the tailbone, use the strength of the buttocks as you rise up. Keep the thighs parallel so you're not splaying the knees open. Inhale, roll it back down again. Exhale, slowly stretch. Pull gently away through the knee so you get this elongation in the body. It's a nice sensation. And we roll down. Now try to steady the head. Don't move it around. Keep the chin tucked. Roll on down. Roll, keep the arms overhead and we'll roll back up again, bridge-like style. Now from here, just gently take your hips to the right and begin to make these little circles down to the left and then back up again. To the right. Relax your shoulders, keep your chin tucked. And as you lower the hips down and they're even, right, parallel here, we're gonna roll and go to the right, reverse direction of our circles, up to the left and then down. And see if just naturally the size of your circles have gradually increased. It's a natural thing that they do. And one more circle around we go with the hips. And then lift those hips up and roll them down. Take the legs and lift them up to the sky and shake them out. Bring the arms and lift them up and shake them out. Take a deep breath in, bring your feet down, bring your hands behind the head, chin tucks, breathe out, stretch the back, round out as you curl the chest up. Inhale, stretch out, nice and long, keep the chin tucked. Exhale, curl up, just by compressing and rooting down through the belly, stretch the back body. Inhale, keep the chin tucked, come on down. Take your right knee, exhale, even take your elbows in, curl up like a ball. Inhale, take your right leg long. Stretch it out. Keep the ribs low. Exhale. Take a little bit of a ball like stretch here. So yes, we're strengthening, uh -huh, but we're still stretching, creating space here through the back body. Inhale. One more exhale. And as we come up, go ahead and loop your hands behind your knee. Roll your neck and head down. Take your right leg long to the sky and then circle. Now you don't need to straighten the leg. It's Monday morning. We're just easing, easing into the muscles. Reverse the circling of your ankle. Get your toes to wiggle and move with this. And then as you place your right foot down, bring your hands behind the head. With the next exhale, we curl up. Bring that left knee with us. You can even take those elbows in and then stretch long. Keep the ribs down. Exhale, curl back in again. Inhale, stretch it long. Deep breaths. Exhale, empty out completely. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, curl it up. This time, take the hands once again behind the knee. Inhale, we control ourselves as we roll down. Chin stays tucked. As we lie down, extend the leg, not fully, and circle the foot. 
Shoulders stay relaxed. Now here we have a chance to check in, see if we can loosen jaw, forehead, shoulders, hips, knees and toes, knees. Get everything moving around. And then take both feet up towards the sky, flex the feet out, bring the hands behind the head. Heavy with the hips, so get them really rooted to the floor. Chin stays tucked, exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower the legs down just a bit, keep the back rooted. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, curl up. Now see if that low back can just come a little bit off the floor. Take it back down. Empty your breath out. Squeeze it out. Inhale, fill up. Keep the back rooted. Exhale, squeeze it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. And lengthen. And squeeze. To lengthen. Give me one more squeeze. And again, take both arms, wrap them around, and then give yourself a big ball-like hug. Hug the knees in, open the shoulders. Bring your forehead to your knees. Deep breath into the body. Deep breath out. We roll on down. Let the knees drop over to the right side. Turn your head to the left. Stretch your arms wide. And then switch sides. Lift the knees up. Use a little bit of the belly strength here. Stretch over to the left side. Reach the arms wide. Look to the right. And then roll yourself to the left and come up to sit. And as you come up to sit, let's keep our groove and our move going. Let's circle the spine around a couple of times. Think of yourself like a big spatula cleaning the inside of a ginormous bowl. Get around to the other side and reverse direction of your circles. Around and around we go. And then come back to sit. Inhale, let those arms reach up. Grab hold of your right wrist. Exhale, take it over to the left side. Look down towards the floor as you feel the stretch through the right side of the body. Now on your next inhale, come up. Grab for that left wrist. Exhale, take it over to the right side. Shoulders. Feel this nice juicy stretch through the left side. Inhale, come back up. Reach up high to the sky. Exhale, reach the hands down in front. Lift the hips up and find yourself in a tabletop position. Listen, we're going to tuck the toes under, get them nice and wide. Inhale, stretch and open. Look up, but don't let the belly drop down. Get a little lift in the belly, shoulders draw back. And then as you exhale, go ahead and look down towards your belly button. Pull the hips back over the heels as you lift your knees up. Now we'll take it back down again. Use the strength of the belly, the thighs, slow and steady. Bring your knees down and then end in a nice arch, opening through the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes under, slow and steady. Knees are bent, we pull on. Now come back again, tabletop, take that arch. If down dog isn't suiting you well, Exhale, do a little bit of a puppy child pose mix. Walk the hands forward, the hips back, and then take yourself back up and arch it out. So let's come back to an arch, all of us together, tuck those toes under and press back to down dog. Slow and steady, bring the knees down. Lift and open through the chest. Lengthen through the front and back of the neck. Tuck the toes under if they've untouched. And this time, let's all come into downward facing dog as we walk the heels. Take a moment to press one heel down. Really root the heel to the floor. Press back through the hips. Shoulders relax. And then switch sides. Now slowly look up between the hands and walk your feet up right where you're looking. Bend the knee, soften, scoop the tailbone under, belly pulls back, and we begin to stand using the strength of the belly, the thighs, the buttocks. Arms open wide and up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the palms together at the heart center. 
inhale, a nice wave rolls through the front of the body as we sun breath the arms up. Exhale, we'll take that fold forward, get a little rolling and rounding, bend the knees, pivot those hips. As you inhale, look up, get a 90 degree angle, press the thighs back, belly strong, shoulders draw back. Exhale, slow and steady, we let ourselves go, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, right foot steps back and the knee comes down, letting that left knee have an opportunity, a chance to come over the ankle. Pull back through the thigh, walk the hands up, find yourself modified. Get the hips to pull up just a little bit and then stretch longer through the thighs. Take a deep breath in, stretch those arms long. We did a lot of stretching on the floor here, so feel all that space we've created in the body. And then exhale, take the hands down, light as we do this. Bring your left knee back to a modified plank. Let the eyes of the elbows face each other. The back body opens wide to the sky. Keep your chin tucked. We're breathing free, deep. On the next exhale, let's draw the elbows in and lower all the way to the floor, keeping the hips slightly lifted. Now warm your way, scoop the tailbone, roll through the spine, come into a little gentle upward facing dog. Now come back down again, and as you do, let your legs lift and stretch long through the legs, the low back, the thighs. Keep the elbows in, pull the palms as you lower the legs. Maybe that up dog as we come back through is a little bit higher. Naturally speaking, it just happens. As we come down, seesaw move of the body, the legs come up. This time it is our upward dog that will stay and get those hips off the floor. Scoop the tail, get the belly to draw long and not drop down. Exhale, tuck those toes, pull back to your downward facing dog. Now take a moment to walk the dog. Shoulders wide, head drops heavy. And then on your next exhale, bend the knees, bring your right heel to your buttocks and then press the thighs to take that down dog split or that happy dog tail up in the air. Now as the breath comes into the body, extend long, pull the weight off the wrist, drop the head down. And then on the next out breath, round the spine, step that right foot forward. We're gonna take the left knee down and then Work that foot, right knee and ankle aligned. Come into our modified lunge here. Get the hips to pull back a little bit, the belly to go long. Stretch through the thighs a little bit more. And then on the in breath, extend the arms up high to the sky. Reach, lengthen, deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're gonna work towards a step forward. So fingertips down, tuck toes, step onto the front of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the tail, and we roll through the spine. Get that wave to come up. Exhale, and we'll roll to come back down. Inhale, thighs pull back, belly draws up. We stretch the spine, shoulders back. Exhale, we let it go. That's our half fold, back to our fold. Take your left foot back. This time the knee will stay up, but we can definitely work the feet so that we have that beautiful knee ankle alignment. Lift higher onto the fingertips or onto blocks. Breathing here as we stretch through the thighs. Outer thighs draw in. So we're drawing lines through those outer thighs. Hug them in and feel them parallel to each other. Keep the weight of the hips up, the tailbone slightly tucked, and now lightness on the hands as they return to the floor. Stepping back, either modify or full plank, falakasana. Now let's take a few breaths here. Feel the muscles filling up the bones in the back of the body. Let them float up. Keep the chin tucked, the thighs lifted, lightness on the hands. So even some of us that are like the challenge a little bit, maybe we are trying to steady the back and just take some weight off the hands a little bit. Now we'll just stay for a few more breaths. Check the head. We don't want it to get heavy. That will be a burden on the neck, the upper back. So tuck the chin and lift long. Stretch the crown away, the heels back. Notice the heels back. We'll go deeper into a stretch in the back of the neck. All right, I hear you. Bring the knees down. Let's all take child pose. Use this as an opportunity to release the hips, to stretch the back a little bit more. Flip the palms to the sky, settle the head down. And notice the next three breaths that enter and exit the body, just as you did the first 10 that we took together as we centered. Now the next movement that we're going to do could be considered slinky or strong. 
We want to have the arms wide and parallel. The elbows don't go out to the side, they'll come down. What we're going to slide through is if we're trying to slide underneath something. Elbows come down, nose to the floor, roll through, and then come up on the other side. And we'll try that again. Round the spine and come back. So I may have some Mount St. Mary alumni people watching. I have some people on my page here. So I would explain to my classes, like we had to push. Remember when we went through initiation or that whatever freshman week is, when you had to push stuff across the floor? Yeah, with your nose and then come up the other end. Let's take a few more. So we're letting the nose get low to the floor here. Roll through. Inhale, come up on the other side. And then one more time. We'll stop in upper dog, but I'm really starting to get that wave going. Feels good through the body to break free of some tension. So instead of rolling to child pose, let your hips lift up and roll you back. The same sort of energy that we were dragging ourselves back through child pose. Let it lift you up into downward facing dog. And remember, down dog is not about straightening your legs, right? It's about that extension through the spine. And once we have it, then if it doesn't interfere with that extension of the spine, we begin to straighten the legs more and more. But really, we want to keep that extension. If you find yourself rounding here as you straighten the legs, you're not down dogging. You are um, creating a nice fun tunnel for little kids to go through. But we want to really create this nice, long, uneven type triangle. So let's take one more deep breath in as we're here. And then as we breathe out again, bend the knees a little bit more as the left heel comes to the buttocks and then extends up high to the sky. On the exhale, we round and roll and work the foot forward, knee ankle aligns, and we keep that right knee up and we pause here, really trying to take the weight off the floor. We're not coming up high here. We're staying down low, which does create a little bit of a challenge, I know. And I like that challenge for us. Challenge is good and change is good. I was thinking about that a lot this morning about what we're going through is, is definitely change. You know, if people are saying, oh, the new norm or what have you, well, that's gonna ch going to change from day to day. And the more resilient we can be, the more we accept change, we let go to what we thought should be, um, the, the better we're gonna surf through life and through these times that we're living in. So with that being said, let's work this right leg to the front of our mat. Bend the knees a little more, scoop the tailbone, and let's change position. Come on up to stand. Exhale, let's stay standing for a moment. Bring the hands together at the heart center and give the legs a little bit of a shaking out. So as we root down, um, balance is a great way to practice and, and work with change because we're shifting and we're changing. And I was coming off my mat because it creates um, a challenge to be on a rug and on a mat. But you know what? I wanted to take on the challenge. So wherever you're at, I'm going back to my mat. Um, and maybe you want to add so much of a challenge that you balance on a block because this is kind of shifty too. It's a fun thing to balance on. But whatever you want to work with and work on, let's root our left foot down. Work parallel, so make sure you're not a little out to the side or what have you. Get your knee aligned center, you know, to the second toe in. Your hips are even. Pick that right knee up. And maybe it's just the right foot. Maybe you're not picking the knee up all the way, but we're going to circle around. And as we circle around, keep the hips steady. Keep the belly strong and continue to lengthen up. So there's a few ways you can go about this. You can go about this trying to control everything, root through the feet, try to stay still, and guess what? Try to do that, and you're probably going to get yourself totally out of whack, right? And that's kind of like us in change. If we try to stay and stay rooted and stay stuck in our old or the way it used to be, um, it, it becomes difficult. Is it manageable? Like right now, if you did that and you could balance, sure, it's probably a little messy. Um, can you manage if you try to hold? Sure, maybe you could, it's gonna be a little messy. Now, if you root yourself, know that you have enough confidence, right? And then begin to grow from that. And begin to find stillness here and find your truth, right? Bring your foot somewhere between um, your ankle to knee below or above the knee to your inner thigh. 
and root yourself down and know that it's not about controlling this pose or controlling this moment or controlling what's going on. It's about how we can adjust gracefully. So as we work our balance, how can we adjust gracefully? And if we fall out, we fall out, but how can we do that gracefully? Right? So I'm not saying that if you let go of controlling so much, you're going to be perfectly balanced. You might fall harder than before, but you'll eventually get it and eventually be here. Right? Sometimes we do have to fall a little bit. So let's work on the other side. Let's shake the legs out. And you play that game. See if you can approach your balance in different ways. So as we root that right foot down, and notice, by the way, what feels really strong, your right leg or your left feels pretty powerful on the left side. But we root that right foot down, and then try to control it as you circle. Try to control not moving. It's not a pretty thing. And try to just accept and grow into. And if little shifts happen, it's all cool. Right? Little mishaps. Today's just not our day. Yesterday, you couldn't even believe how great we could balance. Today, we can't. That's okay. So spend a little bit more time playing here. And then when you're ready, plant yourself with confidence. Whether it be a low tree or a high tree, no in between, no knee tree. Maybe you're creating your own tree, or a little bit of a bush. Find your confidence. Just like that. Take another deep breath in. And then breathe out. Come on and bring both feet to the floor. And shake them out. Very good. Let's get a nice little wave through the body. Inhale, roll all the way up. And then exhale, stop. Bring those hands to your heart center. I know, I thought we were going to dive too. Let's have a seat as we bring those hands up. Take a deep breath in. And then let the arms open out to the side. We're going to walk the feet in until we're sealing the legs together. And then slide your right foot back and begin to open yourself up into warrior two. So we were here, bump, 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 and then we open to here. Now just rock the hips a little bit side to side. Let your left knee go a little bit side to side. And then work your right foot. Turn the right foot in as you open your left foot more straight <laughs> to the front of your mat. Let your thighs open up. Try not to get tight through the creases of your hips. But what we want to do is try to work your hips to the long way of your mat as your front knee is going to the front of the mat. Your thighs press back, your buttocks pull in. Your arms stretch out to the side, and we try not to be italicized. See how I'm at a slant? Pull yourself back and feel yourself long evenly, not scrunching through that right side. Really root the right heel down in the outer of your right foot. That doesn't mean your inner of your right foot comes up. That's, that's rooted too. And then take a little bit of a staying alive or sun warrior here and slowly let that left arm, don't just bring it back and bend, but keep the shoulder down and feel the stretch as you slowly let the arm draw back. And as the arm draws back, stay aware of your thighs, especially that left thigh. Keep pressing back, buttocks draw in. No scrunching or crunching anywhere except for what's in your hair, okay? Shoulders down. See if you're still moving here. See if you're still going back. Little movements. We didn't just get there in one swift move. It's nice and slow. And when do you stop? You know when. When you can't breathe anymore, when things are just starting to crumble. And then when you get there, let's slowly come back up. A little bit faster than how we got down, but nice and slow. Now we should feel all this space through the left side. Lift up into it, now opening through the right side. So yes, we're coming to a side angle, but we're not scrunching into it. We are creating a rainbow. Lift up, a rainbow. Mm -hmm. 
Shoulders down, keep lifting. Now your knee bends a little bit more, that left knee, and your hips draw forward, keeping them even. So you don't want that right hip to be at a slant. And we keep lifting. It's the source of the side here, of the belly, the ribs. It's not the arm. And that's what begins to take us a little bit deeper. Now, I am starting to get stifled in how I talk because my obliques are really working here. And that's where I want us to be, really stretching out. Maybe it goes further, right? Maybe you're beginning to feel it in your, your hips, your thigh. We're just going down. It doesn't have to look pretty. It has to feel good and then slowly come back up again. That was magnificent. Let's take that sun warrior, swing that arm up high to the sky, exhale, go light on yourself. As you come on down, transition into plank. Let's go through another chaturanga and then stretch the belly as we pull into upward dog, stretch the toes back. Elbows hug in, draw the shoulders back and down and let the heart, the chest, the chin lift up a little bit more. Pull the hips in, one more deep breath. Exhale, roll it back to downward facing dog. Walk these feet out. I know the hips are uneven, as they should be. Let's take another deep breath in, and then exhale. Let's lightly step or hop the feet to the front of the mat. As we breathe in, scoop the tail under. Get one of those glorious waves through the body to stand up. Exhale, come into chair pose. Let's go ahead and work the feet in. Bring the knees in, the thighs in until they're centered and touching each other. And then take your left leg and step it back. And here we get groovy into the hips a little bit. And we open up through the right knee as we turn that left foot in. We get the buttocks to draw in, the thighs to open up. We're even and stretch through the sides of the body. And the arms are open up, warrior dos. So pull the neck in nice and long, crown of the head wide to the sky. And yes, nice and wide. Shoulders down. And so you know where we're going and it's slow and steady. Stay aware of where the legs are at. So we have to keep an eye, a mind's eye on that right thigh and knee. And then very slowly, let's take our little staying alive and then begin to find that stretch. Again, we're not looking for this perfect da da da. We want to take our time, keep the shoulders out of it, and feel the stretch through the obliques and then through the intercostals, right? And then once it gets nice and deep into here, don't look at that, <laughs> nice and deep into here, then you begin to feel it through the hips, through the thigh. It's the most delicious thing. Again, keeping that neck out of it, keep the ribs in, keep breathing. And then once that stretch kind of stops, right? We can maintain it, but it stops. We're going to slowly come up and that takes some amazing oblique strength, keeping the shoulders wide. <sighs> this is mighty good, but we've got to take it forward now. So all this is feeling great, stretching out. We're going to lift up through the left side and slowly take it over. And it's a lift up more than what this arm is doing. It really is a beautiful stretch. And again, is it going down? Is it working its way down? And it's a beautiful oblique thing going on here. We're strengthening as we stretch. Go one more breath, one more. And then slowly come back up. Now check on your warrior two here. Make sure you're not italicized. Those thighs are open. Maybe they're awakened here this morning. Lengthen the crown high to the sky. Let the shoulders draw down. Gaze over your right hand. Let's take a deep breath in that sun warrior high to the sky. Exhale, and let's take it down to the floor. Step the right foot back, plank position. Lift up, eyes of the elbows face each other. Exhale, let's bring the elbows together. Chaturanga Dandasana into upward dog. Deep breath in, 
exhale, roll through the spine, either child pose or downward facing dog. And take a few deep breaths. See where you can let go. And now if you're in child, come back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, restretch long through the spine. Deep breath out, step or hop the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, scoop the tailbone under. Roll all the way up to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach those hands up high. Exhale, open them nice and wide. Now you may want to turn yourself so that now you're facing the long way of the mat. Let's come into goddess pose. And yeah, I always feel like Mondays are dedicated to the goddess pose. Scoop the tailbone under, thighs draw back, relax the shoulders. And then see if you can lift a heel up without pressing down through the, the foot. So we want to use the quads here to lift up and then release and come on down. Relax the shoulders and let's do the other side. Lift, keep the tailbone tucked and then release and come on down. Let's go back and forth. Lift, yikes, and come down. And lift, I know I'm having a little technical difficulty. Slowly come back up. Yep. Yeah. Nice. And then straighten the legs and take a nice wide forward fold. Don't look up for a while as I fix this. Steady on your And that's something I want us to work on. I'll tell you on my own thing lately, I have been working on uh, meditation, 108 breaths, and I told myself 108 days, like that's not that long, but we know that that's a third of a year, but 108 breaths, and to just watch, because I know, I don't know about you guys, but my head's been like, woo, and swirling through all this, and it's kind of cool, because sometimes the 11th breath, and I'm having technical difficulties, the 11th breath, um, you start to relax the shoulders and the 23rd breath, the jaw relaxes. And then, um, I hope this is working now, the 29th breath, you notice how relaxed you are. And then the 100th breath, you don't want to end. So let's take two more deep breaths as we're in our nice wide forward fold. And then slow and steady. Come on. Beautiful. So bring your feet in. This time squish them back together and have that beautiful seat. Shoulders wide. Tuck the chin in. Now take your right heel, lift it off the floor, and then either cross your right foot over the left so your toes are still down. You have a little bit of a tricycle kind of help here. Or you bring your foot up until it's resting onto your left knee. And try to even your hips up. Now, if you find yourself really reaching forward, like you're sticking your tush out on a porta potty, try to lengthen the spine a little bit more. Tuck the chin, look up, bring your chest up, bring your ribs up. Beautiful. Get this working more in the quads, the buttocks. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring that right foot down. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment to just notice how strong you are, the sensations that happen after we challenge the body a little bit. And let's come up onto that left heel. Work the other side, maybe crossing at the ankle, maybe crossing at the knee. And then take those arms overhead and find yourself victoriously lengthening upright. Shoulders down. Notice that dance, right? The change, the shifts that are happening and embrace and accept it. It's all good. And 
Take another deep breath in, maybe even sink a little bit more into your seat. And then breathe out, come back to chair pose. Bring your hands to your heart center together. Relax the shoulders down. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, come on up to stand. Get those arms open up high to the sky. Take the palms together and then let's lift. Switch over to the left side. Draw your right hip out. Open your heart up a little bit more to the sky. Keep that chin tucked, keep the tail tucked. As you breathe in again, slow and steady, come on up. And then as you breathe out, lengthen through that left side, stretch over. Open up, open the chest, open the heart. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, come back up again. Inhale, scoop the tailbone under. Baby back bend we go. Exhale, come down to chair pose. Lift that right heel up, cross it over your right, your left thigh. Bring your arms high to the sky. And then exhale, lift your foot up, step back behind you, keep your hips square to the front as you come into warrior one. Now your heel can be high or it can be down, but your hips are working themselves square to the front of your mat. Let your arms stretch open. Feel all that length in through the right side of the body as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, keep stretching the right side. So we're rooting that heel down. We're reaching the shoulder, the elbow away, and then bringing it down towards your left knee. Now don't let your left knee come in to greet it. That's very nice of it, but keep that left knee over the ankle. So the thigh is really working to study the alignment. We're not dropping or lifting any hip higher than the other. They're both even. Maybe a little bit of a pullback, but it's straight even tailbone is tucked. We're lifting the left side high. The neck, we're drawing it long. Chin is tucked. Lift a little bit higher into that left side of the body. Deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, dip into that right knee. Draw back a little bit into that right hip. And then press that right heel back further into your warrior one. So that twist should have stretched us out, made things feel a little bit better. Take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, see if you can work through the thigh, the belly to step forward, hands to your heart center. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Beautiful. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, chair pose. Take that left foot, press it over the thigh. If it's not working on the thigh, you can do your angle thing. You can. Shoulders at ease. Work the belly to stay lengthened. So are we ready to find warrior one? That's where we're going. So take that left foot, begin to extend it back. Spread the hips. Take time to make little micro movements or maybe big movements to align as it's a new pose. Maybe the heels up, maybe it's not, but we want that rooting back. We want the hips to be square. And listen, if the hips are way off, then as you twist, you're going to put more pressure on where you feel pressure because you're way off. So make sure that if you are, and I would call it warrior 1.5, um, get your heel up and get your hips more square to the front of your mat. So with that being said, it's this wonderful left side of the body that we're going to stretch through as we take our twist. Reach forward, square the hips, lengthen the side, open up the shoulders. The chin is tucked. We're still lengthening here, even. And opening up. Relax the jaw and the tongue. One more deep breath in. And as we breathe out, soften into your back leg, pull back into that hip, and then swing yourself, find your warrior one, and notice, did you create a little more space? Can you go into it a little bit deeper? Notice what's going on here. Yeah, that's part of the journey, baby. Take one more deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, take a nice tall stance to the front of your mouth. That beautiful wave through the body. Inhale up. Exhale, world to come down. Inhale, let yourself lift up halfway. Whatever that half is not is for you. Exhale, lift yourself down. Step both feet back. 
lower the knees, open them up as you bring them down, and come into child pose. Let yourself relax. And whatever you can relax, let the bones drop, let the shoulders go. Let's take five deep breaths. And just notice the breath in the body. See if maybe now the breath is a little deeper. A little more control. Feeling freer. Two more breaths. To completely release. And just let those hands walk over to one side, to the right side. Give yourself a nice little side stretch. And then melt into this because that melting will really do a nice job with stretching here as we let go. Active stretches are good, passive stretches are good. Take ourselves back center. Walk our belly down. Relax the shoulders. And then slowly roll up. We're going to head down to the floor. Now lift our feet up. Take them side to side. Little windshield wipers. In front of you, bring the elbows down. Shoulders drop back. You want a nice long stretch through the body. Lift the belly up high. Don't let the hips root down towards the floor. You want them to pull just enough to the body. Help the tailbone to tuck under. Pull the belly in. It'll lighten up on the elbows. Turn your head to the front. Neck loose and long. To the left. Back to center. Lower yourself a little. See if you can take your right arm behind and then left. Work the belly to stay up. And then let the legs, the arms lift. Lengthen to the low belly. Keep the shoulder tucked into the body. Get the ribs and hips to lift a little. Shoulders down. Bring your thighs together just enough that the legs become parallel. Reach out to the toes and the fingers. Take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, release. Turn your head to the side and come down. Let yourself go. Just a few breaths. And then roll yourself back. Let's go ahead and widen our legs before we start pulling out the side. Shake the thumbs you widen them. And then keep the knees facing the sky and the feet flex as you walk your hips forward, your sit bones back. Keep stretching long until you rest completely onto the floor. Just kidding. Keep resting long until you find a good stretch and then let yourself go. This is a good 10 breather. So focus on the next 10 breaths. Try not to control what's going on. Everything relaxed. Everything's good. Turning the 
do our breathing and everybody start going around in our body angle pose. And if you're going slower, take your time, definitely come join us when you're done. When you're ready to come up, slowly walk yourself up. Bring the knees in. And let the knees swipe just enough side to side. Bring the feet down. Let's slowly roll onto our back. Once again, I'm taking my legs up to the side. Give it a nice shake. Deep breath in, and then as we breathe out, bend the knees and bring them over to the right side. Turn your head to the left, shoulders relax. Right hand slide under. Bring the knees up and over to the left side. Stretch up. Gently release. Bring the hand under the knees and guide them up. Take the legs up to the sky, either putting a block, a pillow, or nothing at all. Maybe you lift up into a modified half shoulder stand. As you're ready, gently come on down. Rolling onto your back. And doing any last minute stretches before closing your eyes for a little bit of shuffle. And again, what we're going to focus on. Breath. So once we make it down into Shavasana, should I close your eyes? Into your breath. So we just start with the number one. Just count yourself out. Thank you. 
some small movements in fingers and toes. Wrists and ankles and arms and legs. Try to hug your knees in towards the chest. Let them roll over to one side and come up to sit down. As you come up, bring your hands together to your heart center. Take a moment to bow to the magnificent being that you are. Take a moment to bow to the beings out here. Namaste and Java Iguan. And I look forward to practicing with you guys 